Hi, and happy Monday. Happy Monday, everyone. We've got a fun video for you today. A few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, I think it was, we showed you some tanks that really needed some help. They were getting overrun with some algae and all yeah. kinds of things. And this one in particular, this was the 29 gallon, and you, we asked you for some suggestions, and we got lots of really fun suggestions. And we were recently at a local fish store, found some cool fish, you did escape, and that's what we're going to see today. Yeah, and at that fish store, I got a very sweet piece of driftwood. So that's what inspired this particular escape. So let's go take a look. So let's take a look, a quick look at the way this tank looked before. As you can see, we had a lot of overgrown algae. We had some plants in here. The massive sword plant has moved to a different tank, a 75 gallon, because it needed a little bit more space to stretch out its leaves. The endlers in this tank all moved to the pond outside. We did have a couple Bolivian rams that are extremely old that we moved them to their own tank just to kind of hang out and, and live their life. So we got a lot of suggestions here with this tank and we decided, because so many people asked for it, to kind of keep it more of a community thing. Kind of what we did with the 55 gallon only on a smaller scale. Now this is a different setup because we are starting something new here. And the new thing that we're starting is we're going to have a number of tanks where we are incorporating RO water. And so I want to thank Coral View for sending us an RODI unit. We're going to begin using that a little bit more. This tank is really kind of a trial run. We started out with 25% RO water. What I want to see as we do this is how does the how do the water parameters respond over the course of time with livestock. I don't anticipate too many differences here. Eventually we're going to get into breeding and keeping fish that prefer to breed in softer water. And so hopefully we'll be seeing that coming up pretty soon. So stocking. Our centerpiece fish in this tank is something I haven't had. And that is the thick lip garami here. Kind of looks like a honey garami, only they're larger. And check out the dorsal fin on this thing. I absolutely love this fish. We also got a bunch of brilliant green rasboras. It was funny when I was at the store, I saw the thing, I'm like, just give me all of them. Well, I don't know what I was thinking, but I was thinking all of them was like eight to 10. It just seemed like it when I walked by the tank, just kind of looked in there. I said, okay, they look good. They're looking healthy. And there's a little few more in here than I anticipated, but I really like the way these fish look. Leftover from previous tanks, we have a couple of albino quarry cats. I'm probably going to add to the numbers here because there's just two of them, and I'd like to get a few more just to keep them in a little bit of a larger group. Somewhere in here is a blue spot pleco, and it's the last of the three that we originally bought months ago. He finally came out of his quarantine isolation tank, more or less because we were just waiting for a tank to put him in. Probably not going to see too much of him, but he is in here. So for the scape, to complement the community feel, well, first of all, the inspiration was this single piece of driftwood that we did find at our local pet store. I love this piece. It forms kind of like a bridge. So what I attempted to do was to create, just kind of highlight that bridge on the right-hand side. I stuck with only three different types of plants. Uh, Valicinaria, which I really love lately to give a lot of height, and then I did add a couple of very large crypts on the right hand side which leaves that'll fill in really nicely in a while and then two really really tall anubias which i'm hoping to gather uh, a little bit more from a tank that we are deconstructing and then a lot of veil around really around the whole tank and as we we do break down other tanks. I'm going to acquire a lot more Val, so that right-hand side you're going to see change. The rocks that I used are just an assortment of some of the rocks that are just kind of hanging around here, and a lot of these are some of my favorites. I think they add a lot of interest, because who doesn't love some cool rocks? Now, in terms of the sand, that is Carib Sea Naturals? Yep. Now, we are just running one sponge filter in this tank. The light on here is a beams work light. It should provide plenty of light for these lower light plants. If you're interested in learning more about the RO unit that we're using, check out the website I have linked below from Coral View. There's a lot more information there. All right, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the new scape. Have a great week, and we will see you in the next one. Bye.